Ask Reddit by Ghost7579 Ox. When did you realize that you're dating an idiot? When he missed his daily medication, he threw it out instead of just saving it for the next day. Once heard a doctor on a call explaining to a patient that it wasn't a problem that they took their pill upside down. Use the leaf blower to clean the inside of the house. Edit, I was the one to use the leaf blower. I opened the front door and was blowing heaps of long dog hair outside when I didn't have a vacuum. My wife still makes fun of me for it. I'd have to see the results before passing judgment. I like an innovator. Stacking cups. In the dishwasher. This one is perfect. So many others might be a communication issue or weaponized incompetence or cultural differences. But this one just screams my body is in motion but my brain is off. When he told me the reason why I got sick with the flu was that I did not wear a bra under my shirt. Proceeded to explain breasts are an incredibly delicate part of women's bodies and thus by leaving it exposed like that I was risking any type of disease. Same as if he wouldn't wear pants. 1990. We live in central Alabama. She told me that her and her best friend were going to Birmingham for the weekend. Didn't think anything of it. There's lots of shopping and things to do in Birmingham. Came over Sunday night to tell me how disappointed she was in the trip. They had driven through all of the wealthier neighborhoods in Birmingham, Alabama for two days trying to find a house that matched the Gates to Ozzy Osbourne's house and never found it. He lives in Birmingham, England. This reminds me of when Russia invaded Georgia, and there were more than a few concerned us Georgians. When she said she loved nothing in the world more than Greek mythology, even got a degree related to Greek mythology from University of Arkansas but had no idea who Prometheus and Achilles were. That was a weekend well spent at the University of Arkansas. Deleted. The classic Bavarian fire drill, acting as if you already have the authority to do it, and nobody will question you. He thought you absorb a gallon of water when you shower. Were you dating Spongebob? She didn't understand that you actually have to pay what you spent on credit cards. Like the credit amount she had was supposed to be her monthly limit that just resets each month. My friend did that when he was 19. Thought that it was basically free money. Bought so much weed and food and to be fair he was very generous. And then the first credit card bill came. She didn't want to watch the original Avatar movie, Blue People, until her uncle told her that it was based on a true story. I asked her if she meant that it was a futuristic version of Pocahontas, but no, she thought that it was somehow based on a true story. Then asked if I was calling her uncle a liar. Follow up questions, like asking if she really thought we waged war against an alien society went equally poorly. We were 18 years old for your information. Watching The Martian in theater she leans over and asks when did they go to Mars to film this. She worked for a specialty decorated cookie shop at the mall. Like where you get those dinner plate sized cookies with get well soon or whatever written in frosting. She texted me a picture from work, proudly showing me a cookie she had decorated for a customer. She was legitimately excited to show me her creation. I had not previously seen any of her masterpieces prior to this. Not only did the artwork look like a three year old's finger painting, but it said Conrad Doolittins, which aside from the obviously bad spelling, she had clearly not even planned out the spacing in her head first, so it said Conradu across the whole cookie, and then, in tiny letters up the side, Latins. She thought it came out pretty well. She was about 30 at the time. I'll be honest, I broke things off shortly afterwards because of that cookie. Yeah, sometimes that's how it crumbles. When she was choosing random pills from the blister of a 21 active plus 7 placebo contraceptive, instead of following the arrows on the package. Wow that's a dangerous idiot. 
when kids egged his car and he thought the best way to get the egg off was to use steel wool. I like to imagine the kids high-fiving after the prank, only to see him cleaning it with the steel wool. A mortified chill of regret when they realize he was special. One night he turned to me and said you're a bit of a scientist, I was taking biology in high school, he was in college for music. Can you explain how I can take frozen yogurt from the freezer, put it in the fridge, and it melts and I, already concerned, replied well the fridge is warmer it's not cold enough to keep it frozen and he the asked but it's still cold and I had to explain that there are different levels of cold. Somewhere along the way I said cold is the absence of heat like darkness is the absence of light and he was so mind blown by that. Are you sure he wasn't just stoned? An ex thought that commercials were recorded live, and the people on TV were employed to do them over and over again. As a kid my parents told me I couldn't watch TV before bed, and the only reason I listened was because I didn't want the people in the TV to have to perform my show and get in trouble with their parents for not getting ready for bed. After her third business opportunity turned out to be another pyramid scheme. We didn't date long but knew each other for a while before that. I liked her for her work hard, get paid attitude. Turns out the hard work she was doing was costing her way more than she made, and didn't realize it. I broke down how pyramid schemes work to this one girl who got sucked into them all the time. Throughout me explaining she said that sounds like MLM like three times. After, we sat in silence. Can't see the forest for the trees comes to mind. She thought people dug potholes during the night to force you to buy new tires. When my ex asked me where they grew spaghetti. Eater, I cannot believe my most upvoted comment is about that absolute walnut. Italy, obviously. Calls me at work because her crumpets don't fit in the crumpet tray under the toaster. Crumpet tray question mark? Had a look when I got home. Clearly labeled crumb tray. What a dummy. Now excuse me while I go heat up some nice crumbs for lunch. My ex was scared of hedgehogs and convinced himself they could jump over a 6 foot fence like a cat. Have you never seen Sonic? When I asked her to hand me a kitchen knife and she threw it at me, and that's not even the stupidest part. When I tried to explain the basics of handing someone a knife, or pair of scissors, she refused to accept that what she did was wrong or unsafe, it was suddenly apparent that she couldn't possibly ever admit to being wrong. Edit, it was an underhand throw. I work as a part time chef, a new colleague once tried throwing a 7 inch chef knife into the sink. That is already stupid, but it was way worse because she didn't look and forgot that I was standing there and she threw it right at my balls. Edit, no my balls weren't in the sink, she just missed the sink by quite a bit. The night I said that I thought I smelled gas, and they grabbed a lighter and struck it without hesitation. Wildcard, bitches. She was struggling with money and being able to save. I came home one day and she had a new 40k car in the driveway. She purchased it without even discussing it with me. She essentially sentenced herself to having no savings for the next 5 years when we were trying to save to buy a house together. There are many things people call red flags that I think are nuanced and depend on various factors before making a judgement. But that level of financial recklessness is just unacceptable to me. If you're going to live with this person you're just inviting those problems into your life for the long term. That kind of thing can be the difference between a comfortable existence and a painful, stressful one. I hope you got out. She skipped going to community college classes to stick it to the professor. I had to explain that she had already paid to be there and the professor wouldn't care or notice. Ada. She sounds like the sort of person who'd burn their own trainers as an FU to Nike. When we passed by a car wash that said free vacuum with purchase of a car wash and they thought it meant we'd get a free vacuum to take home with us to clean the house with. I absolutely love my idiot to death. 
the cops regularly put a speed camera on a corner near his house. They've been doing it a couple of times a month for as long as he lived there, and he got caught by it many times. He was crying to me, literally, about how unfair the latest fine was and he had no money to pay it. I was fed up and told him to just slow down around that corner. I could tell from the look on his face he hadn't even considered that, and he got angry with me for not being sensitive enough. The day I told my girlfriend I think I broke my toe and her solution was to yank on it with all her might. It was gout. When we were kids, my brother once slammed his pinky toe into a bookshelf, probably while he was chasing me around the dining room table, and broke the toe. My dad thought it was only dislocated or sprained and tried to pull on it, but it hurt so much that my brother didn't let him get very far. Then they went to the doctor to get it looked at and sure enough, it was broken. My dad was very glad he didn't try harder to pull on that toe. When I found out my ex didn't know what order the months go in. When I asked him to learn he got mad, said no and that it wasn't something he was interested in. I get it. For him, every time a month ends and he turns the calendar, it's a nice little surprise. Sounds kinda fun. When I mentioned WW1 and she asked if that was why they called WW to the Second World War. She had no idea there was a first one. Her parents also taught her that a guy jerking of and a girl having a period were basically the same thing as abortions. No wonder she was one of 11 siblings. A girl having a period? Like it's optional? It was in high school, but I got an acoustic guitar to try to learn. Ask my BF who claimed to have played if he could tune it for me. This mfa literally turned it all the type that the fucking bridge ripped off and then acted like it was a piece of junk. It was a cheap guitar but he literally wasn't listening for the notes or anything and just turning away and acted shocked when even I thought that's exactly what would happen not knowing anything about guitars. IDKY but it reminded me of my friend's story when she dated a guy who claimed he was basically a second Casanova. But from his bragging she already knew he's a virgin. Anyway, they finally about to have sex. He opens a condom, stares at it for 5 seconds and confidently pulls it over his dick and bowel sack, making a lot of effort to stuff everything in. My friend claims she laughed so hard, she nearly died. Some people just unable to say I've never done it, need to see the correct way.